Hello, my name is Graham. I am 23 years old and I've been skating for 14 years, quite a while, and I have enjoyed it thoroughly. Growing up, I was raised in the church, meaning that as long as I lived underneath my parents' roof, I was forced to go to church. I did believe in God. I did believe that Jesus had died for our sins. However, I had no relationship with Christ. Um, I could sit down with somebody and explain to them the benefits of, of God and having a relationship and being a Christian and have no substance in my own life to back those claims up. After high school, I attended a Lutheran college. Um, I still wasn't attending any services. I wasn't praying, wasn't reading my Bible, um, yet in the midst of being surrounded of people who loved Christ. I was still hanging on to my pride and my ego and just could not surrender. In that time period, being in your early 20s, it's, uh, it's a really interesting time. Uh, responsibilities just pile upon yourself uh, and you start to think outwardly towards the world and, and really start to dive into many uh, big life questions. Although I had always believed in God, I still had my doubts. Um, so with all the stressors in life that had come, um, and the way that people cope with them, in my opinion, make or breaks them. Uh, and those coping mechanisms for me changed over the years, um, as did I. I, I, I greatly changed as well. Um, initially, I would work as much as possible, um, 12 to 15 hours a day five to six days a week um, in hopes that money would uh, bring me peace and, and, and solve all of my problems. Well, uh, I like to spend it as soon as it came in and it just, it, it, it didn't do anything for me. It just it continued the chaos. Uh, the next thing was uh, drugs. I thought that maybe if I was able to expand my mind, something would jump out at me that would be so life-changing and I would just be changed forever from one experience and uh, that also wasn't the case and I just realized that uh, it was only bringing me anxiety uh, and, and drawing me away from God and uh, other relationships in my life. The third thing was after those two didn't work I, I felt defeated as an individual and I just accepted the fact uh, that you know, I was defeated, and this was my new life, and that was drinking. So I'd come home from work, um, and I would drink every single day, uh, heavily. It, it, it became to the point where I wasn't able to do anything outside of my house. Um, I couldn't take care of myself. I wouldn't shower. It was disgusting. I had known a gentleman through prior years that uh, I would skate with, and he had gone through some of these similar struggles, as had I. And he was one of the biggest influences in my life. I had looked up to this man for so long. He invited me to Bible study, and I began going on a weekly basis. Um, and, and it was fantastic. I was able to revisit the knowledge that I had from going to church and going to school, um, and actually have a relationship with Christ and surrender, give up my ego, give up my pride, and just accept Jesus into my heart. God gave me the strength to overcome an unhealthy lifestyle uh, and pull me out of that hole, which I'm very thankful for. Um, and I'm now in a position uh, to, to bring others to Christ and actually have substance to my life, um, a light inside of me, um, whereas before I was just a hoax. Um, I'm really excited to find the purpose that God called me to do and to continue to grow in my faith as well as others. Uh, here's a verse that I'd like to share with you. It's Joshua 1, 9. For have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God was always with me, even when I was left defeated by worldly desires. As the same goes for you, God is always with you. Um, even at your lowest point, and he will lift you from anywhere. So Jesus is rad. Jesus is good.